believe, but now experts are warning that obesity among pregnant women is on the rise. NBC Bay Area's Stephanie Trong spoke with a Stanford doctor who warns an overweight mom can lead to a kid who's overweight down the road. I know, sweetie. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Carrying her second son was harder than her first. But 30 year old Bei Duong Wright says what lies ahead is even more daunting. Here's our infinite ice cream corner. She's trying to shed more than 50 pounds, what she gained during her second pregnancy. You're like, oh, I have to have that pizza. And you don't even care if it's two hours away. You'll go and drive two hours away or make your husband and go get it. You do have cravings like that. 28 year old Sapna Prothero is 28 weeks along and a self described health nut. All of a sudden, I felt like I grew overnight. But she says her family exercises in Indian tradition, making sure the mom to be is always full and then some. You're feeding me first. You know, you're eating for two. But the thing is, the second person is only a pound and a half. So. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a nine month uh, celebration that maybe goes too far. Stanford Director of Bariatric Surgery, Dr. John Morton, says what's happening with Sapna is fairly common. When culture kicks in, times, so do the calories. We see that, um, you know, in Hispanic cultures, um, for sure, you know, where mom is supposed to gain a lot of weight. But the trend is rising with all women in the U.S., even celebrity Jessica Simpson, who became the center of another wave of weight gain insults. It happened again during her spring appearance. On Jimmy Kimmel's late night talk show. It's pretty intense at the moment. You might have a couple bowling balls in yeah, that I stomach. Know, Are I you know. sure you're not having twins? I, I, the latest numbers from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention show that one out of every five pregnant women is now obese, gaining. It's about 50 to 60 pounds when the recommended weight gain is only about 15 to 25. He adds women should only be eating 300 extra calories a day. Wow. <laughs> no, I was eating much, way much more than that. But more than just becoming heavy is how much those extra pounds can hurt your health. When you carry extra weight, uh, it does predispose you to developing diabetes. And to giving birth early, which could lead to a C-section, as well as high blood pressure. And the consequences go way beyond mom. Big moms end up having big babies. And when you have a bigger baby, that baby's at future risk for becoming obese. To maintain a healthy weight, Dr. Morton suggests breastfeeding, moderate exercise, and networking with other expectant moms, something Sapna has already begun well ahead of her baby's birthday. I've been making sure to kind of work out, I've been going to prenatal yoga and making sure that I'm fit and the baby's in good shape too. Tommy, you want to give Bryson a kiss? Yeah. For Bay, there's really no other choice. Cutting down the pounds means much needed energy so she can be there for the two loves of her life. My children, you know, like, you know, I got to keep up with my uh, four year old and I just need to, you know, because I don't like this. <laughs> Stephanie Trong, NBC, Bay Area News. Lots of cute babies in mm -hmm. that story. We wish them well.